Hi everyone, my name is Tisan Dharika, the head boy of Okia International School Vattala and welcome to Sparkling Okians. Sparkling Okians is a series dedicated towards bringing you science-based content by our Okians. During the pandemic, it has become an excellent time to try out something different and amazing. So today in our second episode, we thought of making a difference. In our last episode, we had an DIY, we made a DIY air cooler with a student from OKI Khandana. Today, we are having an exclusive interview with a student from OKI Vattala who decided to make a toy car with just rubber bands, cardboard and thrown away CDs. And with him, we are going to discuss the underlying principles and have some fun. If you did not watch the first episode, click on the link above to check out that video. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to this channel if you like more content like this and share this video among your friends. Now we have Tesha Tayodhya from OKI Vattala. Welcome to Sparkling OK and Smalli. Uh, what is your grade and branch? I'm in grade 6 from junior school Vattala. And what would you like to call this project of yours? I would like to call this project as an uh, elastic potential energy car. Is this the name of your project? Yes. So, uh, tell us Mali, where do you find all the resources that you needed for this project? I found all these uh, disposable goods from my home. From your recycle bin? Yes. Okay. So, why did you do this uh, project? Was it because of a school project or you did it for fun? Uh, yes, Tisanda. Yeah, actually, I uh, did it because uh, during this pandemic time, I have enough time to explore new things. So, I started to make toy cars using different types of energies. Wow, that's amazing. So, essentially, when rubber bands are stretched, they, stro they store strain energy or elastic potential energy. And when the grip on the rubber band is taken off, it snaps back into original shape, converting the strain energy into kinetic energy or basically any form of energy. This happens because, like in our case, this is the toy car, the total energy of the toy car needs to stay constant. So when the strain energy decreases, the kinetic energy increases and therefore the toy car moves. This is a principle we see every day in our lives even in car engines where the chemical energy in fuels are converted into kinetic energy that spins the wheels. So Mali, can you show us how this project is made? Yes. So uh, this is Tasha's uh, invention. It's a toy car powered using rubber bands and CDs as wheels and it's amazing. So uh, Tasha, Mali, can you explain us uh, how this works? Like what are the materials you use and what's the mechanism behind it? Okay. Uh, we should use some uh, two cardboard pipes and two steel pipes and four CDs for tires and uh, we should use some rubber bands to work it. So when we uh, rotate the wheel, the rubber, the bands rubber band stretches stretch and uh, it store elastic potential energy and when we release it, it is converted into kinetic energy. And therefore, the wheels spin. Spin, yes. So now that we've learned the mechanism and how this works, Mali, I think let's get into making this. Okay. So, uh, Mali, tell us uh, what are the materials you used and uh, what are the materials you used to make this and like uh, how did you make it? Can you show us? Okay. Uh, here is the main structure, the body which we are going to use, and here is uh, steel pipes to rotate the wheels, wheels. and uh, here are some rubber bands mm -hmm. and here is a hot glue gun and a uh, glue bottle and, and a uh, we also have made some cuts here right yes. for the wheels yes and four cds for the wheels and some papers to make the car little bit attractive and we also need scissors. Yes. So Mali, like, uh, what did you make these pieces out of? Uh, these pieces? From ice cream uh, cups. Oh, that, so basically stuff that you throw away? Yes. So uh, shall we start making it then? Okay, sure.
this is the final look of Tasha's project and uh, now we'll uh, check out whether it works. How the elastic potential energy works. The elastic potential energy is stored when uh, rubber, rubber band, band is stretched, stretch. it's released as kinetic energy and spins the wheel. Yes. So today in our second episode, uh, we show you a fellow invention done by one of our students from OK Vattala. And I hope that you learn something and that maybe you're going to build a rubber band powered, strain energy powered uh, toy car at home. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope everything that you learn from this video will be very useful. If you like videos like this, if you like our video today, give us a like and a comment. And if you like content like this, you can subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you're updated as soon as we make a new upload from the Spark New Okean series. Thank you again and have a nice day.